say hello to the party. We love a doorway design that is so big and so dramatic and so cheery. It passing through it helps you drop your cares right at the door, we say. What a treat for your guests. It gets everything off on the right foot. Big impact party design is sometimes challenging. Michelle Inkley, though, has done it again. And boy, have you. You've recreated it behind us here Isn't in the that studio. Fun? This is the happiest, yes, that's a verb, the happiest <laughs> project ever. The color explosion is big. Yeah. The size is big. And then there's this cool texture going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. So I do a conference, the Snap Conference, every year. And we I, you have to big do these big stages. You decorate it. You design yes, it. Yes. We do these big stages and archways. And so we've done balloons. We've done paper. So this year we're like, let's go with this honeycomb because it's kind of in right now. There's a lot of variety. Yeah. And see if we can make it work. First of all, I think it's fun that it's quote unquote in. In the honeycomb shape <laughs> because it was a thing back when my grandma was throwing I know. baby showers. Yeah, back in the day, and it's kind of making a resurgent. And the colors are so hip and current, and the shapes are different. Now we have different shapes, yeah, the so triangles. And where are you sourcing all of these? Um, my main source was Oh Happy Day because we love them. They have yes. such cute things. But Amazon, I got some from Amazon. I got some from Zoochers. I got um, just party places. I kind of was collecting them for a minute. but And I almost wouldn't have noticed the the various shapes until you pointed it out yeah. because of the color. The color play kind of draws right. you in. But you look closely and you do see all of the different shapes. How many different shapes do you think you need to get the right look and the right formation? Yeah. I think start with the balls first because they're the most inexpensive. And bottom line, you guys, this is like drama for hardly any money. I mean, you get this huge impact and it's not very expensive. So each one of these puffs are just a couple of dollars. Really? Mm -hmm. So some of the little ones are a dollar. Some of the big ones are like five. So it depends on what size you're getting. How are you chunking and bunching and adhering these to one I'll another? I'll show you. So yeah, so I'll show you how to do it. But yeah, you want to get lots of different sizes, mainly the round ones and then add some of the triangle ones. The triangle ones the are really diamonds. cool. The diamonds, there's got some scallop ones that are so cute. Yeah. And the fans, the fans hands are really fun to add in there as well. Okay, show so, us. Show okay. us. So we were, I don't have a part. I don't have a plans to throw a party anytime soon. But next time but I do, next time you do, this is happening. And they'd be so cute, like going up your banister or something when oh, you walk yeah. in. So we we've used this balloon tape. Now you can get this on Amazon. Balloon tape. Balloon tape, and it's got little holes in it. I've never it, heard of this. When you blow up your balloons and you stick a balloon in each of these holes, it creates those balloon arches that you see. Is this how people do this it? This is how people do it. So I'm like, okay, well let's use this, but I needed more structure. So I just put some wire through the balloon tape. You've just kind of woven it in mm -hmm. and Woven out. it in, because that way it gave us some moldability. It was a little bit stronger, because these puffs are a little bit heavier than the balloons. Right. When you start layering them in. Am I the only one in the world that didn't know about balloon tape? I didn't know about balloon tape until a couple of years ago, so okay, yeah. It's, I mean, if you, do balloon, if you don't do balloon, if you don't do balloon, I don't, just break, I don't do on. a lot of ballooning. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't either until I started, and then I found out about it. So then you also have these little holes that are already done for you. Yes. Um, we were going to just do it on a piece of wire, but they were sliding around and bunching up, right? So we couldn't, we needed something that we're like, we don't want to tape them on the wire. So this balloon tape enables us to tie these on. The wire gives you the shape control yep. and then the balloon tape and then the, gives you placements. It gives us placements, yeah. So then you can tie them through, just thread them through there. Because they come with strings. Well, okay, so, um, yeah, but. No, that sounds like a no. Yeah. Sounds like a non they come, with, yes. they come with great strings, but then they're not quite long enough. So I ripped them off uh, and I glued on some other strings. But yes, you can use the strings that they come they're with. They're just super short. They're a little bit shorter and they were, they're skinny. They're kind of hard to tie. So and they're not the same color as the honey. And they're not the same color. And we wanted sampled. to, we did want to make it really nice for the conference. So yeah. we went this extra step and it was just seriously like one episode of one of my shows. So it wasn't bad. Okay. Just okay. sit there and do that. But then once you get that done, you lay out all, you build your honeycomb. That's another thing is I, when you build the honeycombs, they come with a sticky part to it. Uh -huh. So it's already has sticky. So you can just like unstick it and fold it. But if you want to reuse these, like take them down and reuse them. I know this trick. Call on me. What do we use? We use a paper clip. Yes. Oh, see, I, did ding, I just ding, redeem ding. my lack of believing in knowledge? A in crafting, Brad. <laughs> okay, so okay. yeah, you could just use that and then you can just reuse them afterwards if you need another party. Say you have a couple of kids and you want to use them. <laughs> what are you saying? Year after year. There was a subtle point. Just say it. my belly. Okay. Someone has a couple of kids. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of how you put it together. And you just need to like layer, layer, layer them uh -huh. and then put it where you're going to hang it. And I just hung it with, I just like got the ribbon again and we just 
tied it onto some little 3M hooks or on your banister awesome. or around your door and then just fill in the holes. With and the like I'm extras. counting four different shades of green, a mint, a key green, oh, yeah. a sea foam. Don't make a match. Don't get like all the same color yellow, all the same color. I love that look of this. Is that, is that disgusting? Do just, not. Don't make a match. Do not make a match. Yeah. So yeah, so the more colors you have, then you get that great ombre look uh -huh. and it just makes them more fun and it's easier to find. And there's Lots some swag hanging down too. Yep, you can buy that too. It's just kind of the same idea that you just kind of can layer that in. You can put balloons on it if you have a name, if you want to spell out your, the child's name. Yeah. The more layers, the more fun it is, I think. Awesome. So. Now, how did you, it's coming at me, it's dimensional. Yeah. So, how did you stack them? Yeah, that, tying them close together. Okay. Tie okay. them close together. And then you just kind of have to manipulate them. I know some of the triangles kind of poke out, which is so fun. That's it why you fun. want those. Yeah, so just stack them really close together. And then once it's up, you can add, fix the little holes in there. What a showstopper. We saw the snap archway. A million bajillion pictures, I'm sure, by yeah. those bloggers and influencers so were yeah. taken under it there. Was so fun. But great application at home. And if you even want to go smaller scale, you've got a tabletop. Yeah, so variation. then. We saw these darling like balloon stands. Now I'm kind of lucky because I know somebody who can make these for me in metal. So they're very sturdy and I just spray painted them. But hello, who has welders in their family, right? No, not a lot <laughs> not of people. I. So you can just make them really super simple by getting a piece of molding. This is just a piece of molding from Home Depot. Okay. And I just have a huge drill bit and I just drilled the hole and uh -huh. then hello, a dowel. And there you can is. just do it like that. And it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, I've got just a block of wood I've done it on. So right. just whatever, you know, piece of wood you have, a dowel, you can make these little balloon and as high as you want, right? Uh -huh. And then you can put the balloons on them, the honeycombs, the fans, add as much of the like, what is this, shush? <laughs> Roof <Stop. laughs> Yeah. Frufu, you know, <laughs> festooning you can yeah. on there. We're really technical around the, here. We are. We mm -hmm. are as crafters. Mm -hmm. And the, the, tassels, everything is just so cute just to keep adding, adding on that to put those on your table or Adorable. up the walkway or yeah, however you want it. can stand alone or it just can. carry out the theme yeah, yeah, of your in different areas. Yes. Flag. Michelle, you're amazing. You're amazing. Okay, you're going to post tutorials for both of these I projects am. for yep. us on your website. I sure am. Where yep. do we find you? Theglitzypair.com and on Instagram, The Glitzy Pair. The Glitzy Pair. We'll link you over from our website. I'm just going to be smiling all day thinking of this happy <laughs> rainbow that started off our day. Thank you, my friend. <laughs>